Economists have a love-hate relationship with GDP metrics. On one hand, they are the simplest and most widely recognised figures to express the size of a national economy and the welfare of that economy if you are looking at GDP per capita figures. But it's a really basic measurement that does not translate well between different nations with different market systems. GDP is simply the sum total of consumer spending, government spending, investment and net exports, normally reported on an annual basis. One of the biggest problems with this way of assessing prosperity is that it rewards transactional work more so than the creation of genuine value. For example, if the government spent $10 billion on a program which the private sector could have delivered for $2 billion, this is reported as a $10 billion boost to GDP rather than an $8 billion hit in lost potential. Simon Kuznets, the economist that pioneered the GDP model, actually had the exact same reservations and was surprised that this supposedly niche measurement ended up being used so widely. 